job with their scheme and you know uh, really proud of the guys because they put themselves back in the first two minutes we together with three and out and then we get another opportunity defense gets a great turnover there and the, just kids making plays you know and battling their butts off and uh, you know just put themselves in position that's all you can ask them to do uh, but it doesn't matter in the days we've been through this you know offense defense kicking we all got to do it you know we learned that lesson now the hard way uh, a couple times this year obviously and, and uh, it takes all three phases, and uh, we just didn't get it done. And, and a lot of credit to Rutgers. They made their plays at the end and, and, and got the win. Todd, was, was Scott hurt late? It seemed like he went to Murray the whole end of the game. Yeah, he got dinged a little bit. And, uh, you know, just talking to the coaches on the sideline, I could see him. You know, he, he ran the ball pretty well about the second third drive. I guess the second half, he, he got dinged in the first half on the on the one the ball came out. And then he came back. He's okay. And they got dinged again. And, you know, just talking to Coach Bird on the side, who does the substitutions, just felt, I guess, uh, he was a little bit iffy. So uh, we wanted to make sure we had somebody out there that was healthy at that point. But it had nothing to do with his play or anything. But uh, they said he was a little dinged. Todd, that, that last drive, I mean, it's – it was questionable the freshman whether you didn't go for it at the end yeah. of regulation. Yeah. And then you get two huge plays to, yeah. to put yourself in position to win. That, that's got to make it all that much tougher. Oh, yeah. Yeah, you know, you, you, the, the fear part of it is you put your defense back on the field if you don't get a first down, which we did the first time. And, uh, but, you know, like I said, in two-minute drives, uh, our guys, for the most part, have done a pretty good job. And, and B.J. had a nice scramble, and he found uh, Murray on the one long uh, check down throw to turn into a long play. So, you know, like I said, you, you, you feel pretty good about that. But at the end of the day, we just – you know, we didn't turn the ball over all day, and he throws a little high on the uh, his little seepage and protection. Throws a little high on that on the overtime, and you know, unfortunately, uh, that's the only one we had on the day. But it was obviously a critical time. Todd, the, the downfield passing that clicked so well against Cincinnati just wasn't there the same today. Is that a function of Sterling not being there, or uh, what, what's I, behind that? I think there's a lot of things that go into it, but the way they play, uh, they they force you to do some things. We were defensively playing very very well. They're very aggressive with their pressure package. So if you you know played it probably a little less down the field because we were moving the ball decently in the run game and, and our defense was you know staying ahead of them so you know just the way they played defense and, and matching up with the way our defense was playing just didn't have as many opportunities we had two or three opportunities maybe that we took uh you know and uh, didn't really come down with them you guys got one more sliders here Todd, mentally just to have two fourth quarter leads and lose them both what do you worry about in this locker room, just in terms of the attitude they have? Well, you just got to keep them going. You know, it's hard. Uh, that's our job. And our, to our players' credit now, they've worked hard since the day we've been here, and I don't think they'll do anything less or anything different. But uh, obviously, they're tough, tough losses, and, and uh, we just got to keep everybody moving in the same direction. You know, uh, they're on the verge of being a very good team, uh, but we've got a ways to go.